Good evening, everyone. My name is David Miller, and I would like this evening to tell you a little story. Something that happened to me about 20 years ago. 20 years ago. It was 20 years ago when I was young, I was good looking, and I had hair. Well, one out of three is not bad. I think it's you to decide which one of those three might pertain. Then, as now, I was involved heavily in music. I was singing, I was playing the clarinet, and then I became a conductor of a choir. Not the musical director, the conductor. And you may well wonder, well, what's the difference? What's the big difference? Well, the musical director is the man or woman who teaches the music to the choir. He's the one that comes and does the arrangements, works hard, gets everybody to sing, gets them to stand in the right place, and gets the harmony. And the conductor, the conductor's the one that stands in front, doing that, turning to the audience, taking it out, and getting the applause. Now, the musical director didn't like that. So guess what happens to the conductor when the musical director's very protective wife came along to a person? No guesses? I was sacked. I was sacked. And that was one of the funniest things that happened. Because it meant that for the next 15 years, I didn't do any music. Isn't that just the funniest thing? No, no. That's not that, that's not that. The story is, there was a man in this choir who had been around music for, I don't know, maybe 150 years, and never tired of telling us so. His name was Paul. That's not actually his real name, just in case he's still around and gets this look back to him. Anyway, Paul was a great aficionado of music, and we know this because he kept telling us. And when it came to learning a piece of music, he was always there in the back, giving very helpful suggestions to the musical director, giving very helpful suggestions to the conductor, giving very helpful suggestions that made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And the one time, the one time, he would get up and sing, he said, let me give you the benefit of my, my vast experience. He said, let me give you the benefit of my vast experience. So I think in this tune that we're going to do is this amazing grace. So it's, a, it's a wonderful piece of music. He said, and I think I have got a brilliant idea of the harmony. Instead of doing what we're doing now, now I've got a suggestion. Let me demonstrate. He said, what? He said you've, got, you've got your men sitting over there, and you've got your women sitting over there. And you suggested this harmony. But I've got an even better harmony. And he started with it. He said, and he, Demonstrate. Now, I think the men should do this. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Okay, thank you, Richard. Up, Paul. <laughs> and the women should do this. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. So Paul, so what you're suggesting is that the men sing the tune, and the women sing the tune. So no harm. Did I mention that Paul's dead? <laughs> <laughs> Profound dignity. He may have had a good hearing at one time in his life, but at that point he was dead. And he said, Well, no, the harmony. Amazing grace, amazing grace. He said, Anyway, listen to me, David, that I was singing before you were born. And I said, Really? I said, My mother told me that was a whale song. <laughs> He went on like this. Amazing place. Amazing. 
how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost and now was blind, yet but now you're deaf. <laughs> I've been, just go back and sit a little back here. Thank you very much for your help. When we want your advice, we will go somewhere else. I promise you that. But thank you very much. So harmony is in the ear of the devil. And harmony.